If you've been with the district for several years, you may remember when our email inboxes were pretty small. And if we wanted to save an email, we had to move it out of our inbox and put it into a file called a PST file. Here I have a demo PST file down here. Now, our email boxes for the last several years have been unlimited, and it's no longer necessary to store things in PST files, but we still have some PST files out there that we need to get moved so that we have those inside our inbox. All we have to do is look down in our PST file and find the folder that we want to move. Here's one I have called Google CT, and you can see it has a lot of emails actually in there. So I'm going to move this folder up into my inbox now. And all I have to do is click and drag, move all the way up to my inbox. And when I rest my mouse on it, I can come down and you see this black line, it's telling me where it's going to stick it. If I put it on top of a folder, it's going to put this folder inside of a different folder. If I just want it to be out with the rest of the folders, I just get it to where I have a black line here and then I let go. At that point, it's going to start copying. Now, depending on how many emails you have in a folder, it could take it a little while to copy up, especially if there's a lot of attachments inside that folder. This folder I'm copying right now has no attachments, so it's going to go rather quickly. If you have other folders in your PST, just find each one, do the same exact process. Click, hold, and drag it up, and continue doing that until you've moved all your files. Now, all of your emails will be inside your inbox, and you never have to worry about losing them again. They're also going to be available on any device that you're looking at email on, whether that be your computer with Outlook, whether you're looking at webmail, or even on your phone. So this is a great way to keep up with all of our emails and not have to worry about those pesky PST files anymore. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.